Accord and Sync. This podcast is at the basic level. It requires no knowledge of Accordance Bible software or Hebrew or Greek. Accordance for Mac Update 9.3 is out this week. So is Accordance for iOS 1.2. Both add a number of features. However, none of them are more welcome to iPad and iPhone users than the ability to sync Accordance between their devices and their Macs. In this podcast, we'll take a look at the process. We'll look first at the mobile side, then the computer side. Mobile Sync The first step in either syncing or downloading is to open the library. Here is where all of our modules are listed, category by category. Tapping on the blue circle to the right of any module gives us information about the module. Once we return to the library, we can also edit it. Edit mode allows us to rearrange any module by selecting it and dragging it up or down, but only within a module's given category. We can also delete a module by tapping the red circle on the left, then delete. Note that the modules currently in use cannot be deleted. Once we're done editing our library, we just tap done. The library also has three icons in the navigation bar. From left to right, they are Download, Sync, and Settings. Let's take a closer look at each of them. The Settings panel allows us to set our display and search settings, and version 1.2 adds many more choices, including colored fonts and backgrounds, so you'll probably want to check it out. About Accordance opens version and contact information, and the Help button accesses Accordance's online help page in our mobile browser. We can then switch back to Accordance once we've resolved whatever question we had. What we're primarily interested in today is the Accordance account information. It's important that we make sure that the username and the user password for our online account is accurate. If you don't yet have an account, you'll need to set one up. Just click Go to the Accordance store to do so. Follow the instructions there. By the way, we can also use this button to purchase additional modules right on our mobile device. Now, once you've set up your account, return here and enter the correct information. When you're done, click Save, and Accordance will return to the library. Okay, now we're ready to install additional modules. There are two ways to do this, downloading from Accordance Online and syncing with Accordance on our computer. Let's look at them both. We've been able to download modules from our online account since the introduction of Accordance Mobile. All we need is access via Wi-Fi or our cellular data plans. Simply tap the download icon, then wait for our list of modules to load. Each uninstalled module is listed by name, along with its size and abbreviation. Modules already installed on our devices don't appear. To download others, simply click the gray circles next to the modules. Once selected, each will turn green. When we've made our selections, we click the Download a button and Accordance will automatically do the rest. While Accordance is downloading, we'll see a message like this. Be sure not to click the button at that point as it will cancel the download. A bit of patience is also required as we can't use any other app while we're waiting. Doing so will also cancel the download. When it's complete, Accordance returns to this page in case we want to download other modules. If not, Close the pane, and Accordance returns us to the library. The same sequence is used for updating modules, except we tap Updates, then select the updated module and tap Download. If the updated module does not appear to be installed, which can happen if it's currently in use, try quitting Accordance, then relaunching it. To quit Accordance or any active app, go to the desktop, then double tap the Home button. All of the apps that are currently running will appear at the bottom of the screen. Now tap and hold the Accordance app icon until you see a red circle with a minus in it. Tap it and the app will quit. Version 1.2 of Accordance Mobile also allows us to sync modules from our Macs. There's no need to connect the two devices together with a cable. Just make sure they are both on the same Wi-Fi network. Like downloading, syncing begins in the library pane, but the rest of the procedure is different. All one needs to do on the iOS device is to tap the Sync button. This window appears, letting us know that the Accordance Mobile is now ready. Everything else happens on the Mac computer. We'll get to that part in just a minute. For now, know that when syncing is complete, the library will reappear and our modules will be ready for use. 
Try not to interrupt either the download or the syncing process, as doing so will cancel it. It's not that it will harm Accordance or your device, it's just that you'll have to go through the whole process over again. Okay, now let's look at the Mac side. Mac Sync. So what does syncing look like on the Mac side? I'm glad you asked. Under the Accordance menu, you'll see a new item. It says Sync with Mobile. Select it, and Accordance will search for every iOS device connected to the same network. We then select the device we want to sync, and this dialog box appears. We then check the modules we want installed on our device and uncheck those we want to remove. Once we've made our selections, we simply click Sync Now. When this original workspace reappears, the sync is complete. Now let's sync in real time, in accordance. Let's go directly to our library, to Settings, and there to our Accordance account. If yours is blank, you'll need to fill it out, and if you don't have an online account, you need to go to the Accordance store and register for one. This is the page where users register, though I won't take time to do so now. But when you're done, return to the Accordance mobile and fill in the information. I'll just use I'm a new user and password. I trust you'll be a bit more creative. Then click Done. That's all there is to it. Now we're ready to begin to download some modules. Click the Sync button in the lower left-hand corner and Accordance will begin loading the modules in your account. Select the ones you want and just click Download. We can also update modules. Just click Update and then Sync once again. Here you can see the updated New Bible Atlas. We'll download it as it works very well on the iPhone. Once it's downloaded, all we have to do is to click the X to keep Accordance from syncing again. Clicking Done to return to the library completes the downloading process. Syncing with our local computer is even easier and usually much faster. The only thing we need to do on the iPad is to tap the Sync button. The rest happens on our computer. Under the Accordance menu, select Sync with Mobile Device. Accordance will look for our iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch we select the device we want, then click Connect. And when this dialog box appears, we select the modules we want to install and the ones we want to remove. These can be in any of our categories. Here I'm removing all of the user notes files except my personal one. Once I'm done, we just click Sync Now and wait a bit. Now the larger the modules we install, the longer it takes to transfer them. And if you're transferring a lot of modules, this might be a good time to go get a cup of coffee. Accordance for Mac then lets us know when the syncing is complete. This notice will disappear on our iDevice when the sync is complete. This podcast covers all of the information needed by the vast majority of our users. However, if you have problems with downloading, syncing, or anything else in Accordance for iOS, check out this help support link. You can access it either through your computer's browser or through Accordance Help on your iDevice. Oh, and for great discussions of our iOS app, including feature requests, why not consider joining the ongoing discussion on our Accordance forums? Syncing is just the most impressive of the improvements in the latest update to Accordance 9. We'll be covering the rest of them in weeks to come, along with other podcasts on Accordance for iOS. So stay tuned. This has been Dr. J for Accordance Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode of Lighting the Lamp. Music